While your teammates are getting themselves into trouble in the front line, you're all the way in the back. Somebody must save their asses and that happens to be our job. A lot of bullets are required to take down enemies in the division. Luckily, we only need one. Before starting, I designed blueprints of the gear, weapons, skills and talents with all the information you need and uploaded those on Patreon. It's for those who are interested in being able to have a look at the build without rewatching the whole video again. These are one among many rewards for patrons, so if you're willing to support Masterminds HD monetarily, you can find the specifics on Patreon. Thank you. As per usual, we'll start at the core of the build and work our way up from there. That core is the gear. The simple part about it is from the chest piece to the holster, we're equipping the Classified Hunter's Faith gear set, which grants us access up to the 6 piece bonus. The 2 piece increases the optimal range by 20%, which for every marksman rifle increases it from 60 meters to 72. The 3 piece ups the headshot damage by 10%, a very welcome bonus. The 4 piece adds the Hunter's Faith talent. It increases our weapon damage for 3% for every consecutive shot we hit with a bold action marksman rifle. Although this damage can be increased up to 15% if we manage to reach 9000 firearms. Make sure not to miss the target, swap, reload or wait too long because we'll lose our bonus. More bonuses come along with a 5 piece bonus. It increases the optimal range by another 20% and the headshot damage by 10%. Add the 6 piece talent into the mix and we'll be dealing massive amounts of damage. Hunter's Precision, as it's called, doubles the increased damage bonus when landing a headshot up to 100%. Add this to that we are now allowed to miss one shot and we're all set. Every piece of gear also has main stats, armor, major and minor attributes as well as slots for the prototype and performance mods. When specking into the main stats, we'll focus on getting 9000 firearms. The remaining stats we'll spend towards stamina to make sure we can unlock the weapon talents and have a little bit of survivability. Keep in mind that the holster rolls 1401 on every main stat, giving you that extra bit of everything. Armor rolls are different for each of the 6 gear pieces. On screen, the maximum values are showcased. The major attributes we're selecting are different per piece of gear as well. We're selecting those that can benefit our build in particular, meaning critical hit chance, critical hit damage, health and skill haste. Minor attributes are a little bit simpler. Using this build for PvE, we'll be selecting damage versus elites, but other than that we'll have burn resistance, blind death resistance and disorient resistance. The gear mods we're selecting come in two types, prototype and performance mods. There are five prototype mods, and each one should roll firearms as a main stat. The minor attribute is debatable, going for more damage we'll select critical hit chance. These roll 1% for each mod, adding an extra 5%. However, if we want it to be more survivable, selecting health would be better. The performance mods increase the bonuses on the skills. Here we'll select 4 pulse critical hit chance mods, each rolling 2% for a total of 8% extra. That is the gear part of our build, meaning we're moving on to the weapons. The primary weapon of choice is the M700 Carbon. It's bolt action, obviously with high damage and a great exotic talent. Elevated, as it's called, increases our damage by 15% when elevated more than 1.2 meters above the target. Climbing on a car is enough to activate this talent. The second talent we're looking for is Prepared. Prepared increases our damage by another 15% when we're further away than 30 meters. Keep this in mind when playing this class. The third and final talent on this weapon is Brutal, increasing the headshot damage by 12%. This adds to the already high headshot damage of marksman rifles and to the Hunter's Fate set bonuses. The secondary weapon is more debatable, but keep in mind that we want something for close and medium ranges, as we're vulnerable at those ranges at the moment. I'm opting for the lightweight M4 as it's simply the best assault rifle at medium to close ranges. It handles decently, has a high rate of fire and good damage. One talent remains the same and that talent is brutal. As with this weapon, we also want to aim for their dome. The other two talents, however, are different as opposed to the ones we've selected for our marksman rifle. 
add responsive to increase weapon damage by 10% to targets within 10 meters. And to top it off, selecting Unforgiving in the free slot increases your weapon damage by 10 or 25%, depending on how much health you have left. Make sure to roll this in the free slot because it requires more stamina than this build has. Funnily enough, the mods are similar for both weapons. The optic of choice is the VX1 scope with increased headshot damage. The minor attributes on the mod should be critical hit chance and accuracy. In the magazine slot, we'll equip the extended magazine, naturally. It increases the magazine size by an insane amount and other than that, we're looking for critical hit chance and rate of fire. The underbarrel supports the small grip, which we'll use to increase the critical hit damage, accuracy and reload speed. And the final mod, the muzzle, is the Omega Rifle Suppressor. It increases critical hit damage, accuracy and reload speed as well. The sidearm depends, as per usual, more on personal preference rather than statistics. I like the Golden Rhino because of its exotic weapon talent. The Golden Rhino talent increases stagger by 200% and with its high damage and this effect, I can crowd control rusher sometimes which can be nice from time to time. The other weapon talent is always expert, increasing the damage by 100% when your target is lower than 30%, which is nice for finishing people off. Its mods are the reflex sight with critical hit chance, critical hit damage and stability, as well as a small laser pointer with accuracy, critical hit damage and reload speed. Like I said, personal preference. Skills and talents are often overlooked, but if you haven't asked your girlfriend yet, small things can make a big difference. The skills are less obvious than in skill builds, like the classified reclaimer or firecrest, but it can do a lot for the build. The primary skill of choice is the pulse with the tactical scanner. Besides pulsing hostile targets, it increases damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage, although the critical hit bones are less than with the other mods. The secondary skill is more debatable. Playing solo, we'll select the first aid with overheal. Playing with a dedicated healer, selecting booster shot instead of the overheal can give you that little bit of extra damage to take down your target. Don't sleep on the talents. We're selecting them in the trend of headshotting and surviving. Critical save, one is none, precision and tech support. We all know critical save. It decreases incoming damage by 20% for 10 seconds upon using a medkit at low health. This one is important if you want a bit more of self-sustain. One is none adds a 50% chance of not consuming the bullet upon landing a headshot, meaning you can just keep shooting longer as long as you go for those headshots, which we are doing anyway. Precision pulses the target for 10 seconds after hitting them in the head. And finally, the last talent for us is tech support. What might sound weird, it extends the duration of any active skills like the pulse by 10% when killing a hostile during its deployment. The pulse has a base duration of 20 seconds, which is more than enough time to get a few kills, increasing the duration of that skill. Gear, weapons, skills and talents, we covered it all and it brought us to the end of the video. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch our content. If you made it this far, consider leaving a rating, good or bad, and helps us showing up in the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below with your suggestions on how you would build a classified Hunter's Fate sniper build. Before ending the video, here's a quick reminder. For those interested in being able to have a look at the build without rewatching the video, I designed blueprints of the gear, weapons, skills and talents. They are available on Patreon, among other rewards for those who are willing to support us monetarily. See it as an extra service. The specifics can be found on Patreon. Other than that, pop some people in the dome and that will do it. Peace out.